Hello friends, today uh, we will going to understand the Picard's method of finding the exact solution of ordinary differential equation. Now this method requires a little bit help from integration. So you should be good at integration first. Now your equation is dy by dx is x squared plus y squared. What is given to you? You are given x0 is 0 and y0 is 0. So at x is equal to 0, y is 0. That is given to you. Okay. Now in this method, we will first find the general solution by numerical technique. Okay. And then we can find any of the said value or requested value. We can find y of 0 0.1, y of 0 0.2, then y of 1, y of 2 or any other. Okay. So actually to find the general solution in this is an iterative one. Okay. And not finding the uh, values. Means that is not an iterative one. To find the general solution you will require some iterations. Okay. So we will perform two iterations to find the general solution. So this is the difference between the previous methods and this method. Now in Picard's method, you write the first general solution as y1. So that y1 will be y0 plus integration x0 to x f of x comma y0 dx. Now you have to understand first that what is f of x y? It is x square plus y square. In front of dy by dx, whatever the thing is, that will you will consider that f of x y. Okay. okay. So now, what is x zero and what is y zero? That you are already know. It is given in the condition. Okay. Now y one. This is your first general solution. So y zero. What is y zero? It is zero. What is x0? 0. 0. What is x? It is x, simply. What is f of x, comma, y0? Your f of x is this. So, x will be as it is. So, it will be x square. But, instead of y, there will be y0. So, instead of y, you will write y0. So, what is y0? 0. 0. Simply. So, it is 0. So, into dx. So, y1 will be it is 0 now. It will be just integration 0 to x, x square into dx. So y1 will be at the end x cube by 2. If you take this limits, still this value will be same. This equation will be same, x cube by 3. So this is your y1. So this is your first iterative general solution. In other methods, you find the approximate values in the equation. Here you are finding the approximate solution. Okay. So this is your y1. Now to find y2. What you will do? I will change here only the formula y2. Obviously you will require y1 value there. Okay. So y2 will be y0. In other iterative method, generally this y0 will be replaced by y1. But here it will not be like that. It is Picard's method. So y2 will be y0 plus integration again same limit 0 to x. x0 to x. So x0 is 0. So your limit will not change. 0 to x. f of x comma y1 into Previously this formula was y1 is equal to y0 plus 0 to x f of x comma y0. Now it is changed. For y2 this is the only change you can see. Okay. So in the function only there will be one change. Instead of y you will write y1. And what is y1? It is x cube by 1. So that is why you will require this. So y2 will be y0. So what is y0? 0. 0 to x. Your function is x square. So x square will remain as it is. Instead of y square, you will write this. Because this is your y1. So it will be x cube by 3 square into d. Simple. So instead of 
Why? You are writing y1. But what is y1? It is x cube by 3. And it is y square. So it will be y1 square. Hence x cube by 3 square. Okay? So this is the state, crucial state in this Picard's method. Now we will solve this. So y2 will be, forget this 0 now. It is 0 to x only. x square plus it will be x raised to 6 upon 9 into dx. Simple. Now further we will solve this. So it will be y2. Now if this integration will be x cube by 3 plus x raised to 7 by 63. Okay. So this will be your y2. So this is your general solution at the end of second iteration. Now you have got the general solution. Okay. For this given differential equation. The differential equation given was dy by dx is x square plus y square and you have got the general solution y2 is equal to x cube by 3 plus x raised to 7 by 63. This is your general solution. So it means you can write this as y of x as x cube by 3 plus x raised to 7 by 63. Simple. Now this is your final general solution. What you will do to find y of 0 0.1? Put x is equal to 0 0.1. So it will be y of 0 0.1. So 0 0.1 cube divided by 3 plus 0 0.1 raised to 7 by 63. Simple. Just calculate. I have the answer with me. So the value is very less. 0 0.000. 3, 3, 3. So this is your simple value. For y is equal to y of 0 0.2, what you will do? Instead of 0 0.1, you will put 0 0.2. Simple. So this is how this method is very very important and popular method. Because you first find the general solution so that you can find any of the infinite values of that differential equation. So, I can directly write the answer. It is 0 0.3492063. Simple. So, this is your final answer. When you will subtract x as 0 0.2. Okay, so it will be 0 0.2 cube divided by 3 plus 0 0.2 raised to 7 by 63. So, your final answer will be this. If you like this video, please share and subscribe. Thank you.